All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again. It is, what is today? It's a Monday, I know that much. October the 25th, 2021. Um, today we have Psalm 35 that I'm going to read. I have a fold in my page of my Bible, which means that I got it in line too. Psalm 37, I guess, was a good one for me. So, so anyway, Psalm 35. <clears throat> Psalm of David. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler. Stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear. Stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath, he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, and shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivereth the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one, would, as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and cease not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts they gnashed, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without, without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself, and wake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Amen. I didn't really... didn't really have too much to say today to be honest it is uh 
having a hard time waking up this morning. I, uh, I'm just trying to get my brain going. Because it is definitely a Monday. I we had a good weekend, but it is what it is. I didn't really get a good chance to look over this before I read it either. There's always that. One of the things I've said many, many times inside of uh, inside of these, as I read them, almost every single one of these, it's always where they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Which again, I always say, that's that's constantly the way of those that just want to do evil upon people. Is there always planning something against you? And it's always quiet and deceitful. And it's always to somebody else's hurt and pain. And it's just the most wicked, evil nonsense. And and it hasn't changed. And I People think that things have changed over the years. Oh, people don't act like that anymore. You know, there's there's not some vast conspiracy of of people that are trying to enslave the world, you know, there's you know all oh, these these people don't they don't rule the way that the Romans did or they don't rule the way that the Egyptians did. You know, they're we're not like that anymore. We're we're civilized now. We're 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 better civilized people. Eh, you can keep thinking that all you want. Uh we're not we're not like the we're not like the Romans or the Egyptians anymore, yet, you know, we'll go ahead and constantly keep using all of their symbology that they've used for centuries. But then again, that's just another, isn't that just another deceitful lie set in the back, you know, set in the background that, you know, oh, it's nothing, don't worry about it. It's okay. We're not like that anymore. They... But that's what it is, though, right? I mean, it's just it's it's the same thing over and over again. It's just it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're all good. We're all gonna be good. Just wait. You'll see. It'll be better. No. There are bad men in this world that want bad things to be done to other people. That that will go out of their way to hurt other people. And I don't know how many times I have to say it. I mean, I've said it a million times now, man. At least. That there are bad men that just want you dead because they think that you they think that you are taking up their space you're taking up their space you're breathing their air you're eating their food it's because they think it's theirs because they think that they they and their families are better than you and your families. And
one of the earliest things that the uh, the Bible says is that you can welcome the stranger in as long as they choose to come in and follow your ways. If they come in and start, you know, doing the things that they do and start breaking the things, you know, breaking the covenants and all the other stuff, then you need to push them back out. But the biggest problem that has happened is that, and this follows along with what I was saying, those families that just want, you know, they want nothing but the best for themselves and not for anybody else, is that you have groups of of people that have amassed power, have amassed money, you know, have have... have gotten everything that they have through killing and and violence and deceitfulness and everything else. And they take advantage of those of us that welcome the stranger in. And once they get in, they deceitfully say, "Oh yes, you know, we'll follow your your rules. We'll, we'll, we'll be nice. We'll do this. We'll do that. You know, we'll help. We'll, we'll totally help. We'll do this. You know, it'll, it'll all be good." And then slowly but surely, they start poisoning, poisoning the standards, poisoning the. What's the word I'm looking for? I guess I'll just go with standards. Standards is about right because the one of the one of the worst things I've hated is just the lowering of standards over the years. Uh, we've just lowered standards so much to a point that just everything just sucks. <laughs> it's so bad now. Um. But yeah, they they get in there and they start, it just starts growing, a fungus, you know, it's, it's what, it's what the parable says, is, you know, uh, quietly in the, in the middle of the night, the devil has, has come in and sown, sown the, uh, sown the tares in with the wheat at night, deceptively. And they've grown together, and you know, in some places it's choking the wheat, in other places, you know, it's not growing. That's why whenever it comes harvest time, we will be tearing out the tares. Be probably where we get that word from. Tearing out the tares. Uh, <laughs> we will be ripping out the tares and burning them first, and then we will harvest the. So, what a lot of this, a lot of these, so many of these psalms, is the more I read it, the more I, I, I have to stop and I have to, I have to wonder if people actually ever read them, you know? If people actually stopped and, and, and listened and just was like, you, do you understand that almost every other verse is... It's the it's somebody trying to tell you that the world, the people of this world, are out there dece- deceitfully trying to, to get you in some way, shape, or form. That <laughs> that weird whack nut, you know, conspiracy theorist that you won't listen to that keeps telling you that there's 
there's a monster under the bed or there's a monster in the closet and he's doing his best to try to to tease you and tempt you into coming into the closet so that he can get you he's he's not lying that that conspiracy that nut is not lying he's he's telling you the truth there's somebody out there that's trying to get you I think I keep stressing that point probably stressing that point a lot because I I just if people could get that one concept that well the first concept you have to get rid of is that people are inherently good that's a lie uh, that's been a lie for a long time people are not inherently good People have evil in their hearts. The Bible says that too. If you, if you want to be a true Bible-believing Christian, well, you've really got to get off your ass and start reading this book. Because everything in here goes against what we've been told. There's, it's, it's, not, it's not inherent good. People have evil in their hearts that have to be flushed. I, I, use, the, uh, I use the example, what was that, last? Or the... Two psalms ago, two videos ago, something like that, where I said, you know, you, you are a glass of dirty water and that the Father has to fill your cup up with clean water so that the dirty can flow out. He gives you a new heart because he knows the evil that's in men's hearts. The evil that's in men's hearts. Say that again. The evil that's in men's hearts. He knows the evil that's in men's hearts and he gives you a new heart, a new mind cleanses you, changes you. He takes that out of you so that you can become a new person in Christ. We are not inherently good. That's the first that's the first lie they ever told you. That all men are inherently good, that you should trust everybody. That people are, are constantly trying to do something good for you. I don't know how many times I have heard I don't know how many times I've heard this argument with family members when they talk about politicians. They talk about uh, people that are trying to rule over other people and how good they're doing, the good they're trying to do, the, the, the help they're trying to do, and, and how one person is so much better than another person because, you know, politics. Politics. A lot of people have already heard this, and I'm going to say it again. Politics. A tick is a blood-sucking parasite. Poly is... It's not... what is it Latin or is it something else? Poly is... It's like a... It means more than one. I don't, I don't know what language it's from. But it is... Uh, more than one multiple blood sucking parasites politics 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 that are in the government govern which is to rule over and mental mentis mint mental is the mind of the mind rule over the mind the many many blood sucking parasites that want to rule over your mind politics and government the English language was created in order to enslave you I still say that other people may not think it's true I don't I don't for a minute uh think that the English language was created over thousands of years, slowly but surely. Hundreds of years, actually not thousands. Hundreds of years, slowly but surely. I think that it was probably made over hundreds of years by a bunch of uh, blood-sucking parasites in order to enslave us. It's just about every other word we say in English language is we don't, we just don't know what it is. We're not we're not taught anymore where these words come from. 
if we were, we might be a little bit more uh, cautious about how we use words. Uh, yeah. First thing you have to learn is there's not inherent good. People can be good, and people can do good things. A lot of people I know, or I have known over the years, and it doesn't mean that I just know bad people, it just means that I, I see the truth. Uh, a lot of people I know will do something good for their own benefit. Nine times out of ten, you know, it's because they want something out of it. And... I can always admit that I I used to be the same way. I've I've tried to uh be better about it. Like I said, I'm I'm just like everybody else. I'm I'm no different. I'm no better or no worse than anybody else. I just see that it's been like this for years. And I'm trying to warn people that, you know, I, there's nobody out here trying to help you. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's, there's people out here that are doing good and you can see it. That's why, uh, that's why it said you can, you can judge somebody by their fruits. You can judge somebody by, you know, what they're trying to do to help other people. But, man. People think just because you're on TV or just because you hold a place of power or, you know, somebody votes for you that you're the most trustworthy person in the world. And it's like, no, that's not, man, that's just not how this works. I have a, I have a problem with politics anyways, because there's nothing in the Bible that tells us that we're supposed to elect our own rulers. As far as I can tell, uh, when somebody put back in, what was it? It was after Exodus, I think, that when they put somebody into power and God came back down and said, nope, you're not going to do that. You're going to put this guy in power, and you're not going to put any, you know, this other person in power. So he doesn't want us to pick. He doesn't want us to pick. I don't, uh, a lot of people disagree with this, and I'm sorry. It's just my opinion on it, though. I don't believe that God puts it into people's hearts to vote for certain people. I, I don't, I don't believe that. That's just me. Can he do it? Sure. Yes, he can. The Father can do whatever he wants. And if he does that, then that's going to be between me and him. You know, but I don't believe that the Father puts it into people's hearts to vote for certain people. I think the Father will tell us who he wants in power. But a lot of people just don't pray for that anymore. They just let it, they just let it happen because they think it's the way it's supposed to be. So, you know. These are hard truths. I mean, and again, a lot of people don't, don't, don't even remotely subscribe to half the stuff I'm saying right now. Uh, and again, some people think it's blasphemy. Some people might absolutely think it's blasphemy that I, that I could go against the word of the Father and saying that, you know, he doesn't want us to do this. He doesn't want us to do that. Well, uh, last time I remember somebody telling me, we're supposed to follow this book, the Bible. And there was nothing in this book about us getting the right or the responsibility of electing officials for ourselves. Uh, not only that, but again, there's nothing 
we're we're supposed to we're supposed to invite our neighbor in but that doesn't mean that we're supposed to keep them you know we're supposed to help and we're supposed to preach the word but at the same time if they don't listen then we're supposed to wipe the dust from our feet and walk away see that's there's everybody likes to talk about the good stuff but at the same time it also says we're not supposed to have any anything to do with those that do evil so who's right and who's wrong what's going on there it's just a it's just a lot of things that you know i sit back and i hear people i hear people say oh well you know we we should be pulling in pulling in the refugees we, we were talking about this last night actually my wife and i you know we're supposed to be good people and we're supposed to pull the refugees in and we're supposed to do this and do that and I was like, yeah, that's fine, but unless they decide to acclimate to our customs, to our religion, to the things that we do, unless they decide to do that, then we're supposed to send them back. That's what the book says. It's, they have to go back. I mean, we can take care of them. And we can show them a better way, but there's nothing in the in the Bible that says, "Oh, we're supposed to let them just run rampant over over our country, over our lives." There's nothing in the Bible that says that you're just supposed to let evil men continually corrupt and ruin the world, and yet it seems like Christians are they're uh they're out to let they're bound and out to let that happen. No matter what they do, all for the sake of what's the verse in Romans? <laughs> all for the sake of that. <laughs> it's just absurd. It's just it's the more I hear the more I hear people bowing down to this whole system, thinking that this is the way it should be and it ought to be, and because it's because it's supposedly worked like this and because God has some greater plan for everything and, you know, all of this, that we're going to be okay. We're going to be just fine. I don't know if I'm reading the same book as you guys, man. I, I, a lot of the stuff I read in this book says that we're supposed to fight for what we have, that we can make a better place, that we're supposed to make communities that get together and work for the betterment of the community. And if there's no one that wants to be a part of that community, that wants to help, that wants to lie and cheat and steal and all that other kind of stuff, we're supposed to kick them out. And if you go back in the book, we're supposed to kick them out pretty forcefully. It's, it's, <laughs> It was never just about being happy-go-lucky, love everybody. It was about loving everybody and inviting them in, but not bowing down to them. It was about helping your brother become better but if your brother doesn't want to become better then it's about letting your brother go Christ even said that he will turn father against son he will turn daughter against mother 
He will separate us. Christ was never meant to bring us together. He said he will separate us because of his name, because of what he says. We will be separated. We are supposed to gather the flock and sadly leave the rest to their own devices. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be a bad guy about this. I, I'm really not. I'm really not. I, I really wish I could spend all my time and all my, all my energy trying to convert every single one of my family members possible. But a lot of them just will not listen. They don't, they don't care. They, they will take, they will, they will hear it. And then they will give me that blank stare that everybody else gives you. And most of them have laughed in my face because of the person I used to be, you know, they're like, Oh, this, there's no way that he ever, he never turned from what he used to be. He's still some satanic freak, even though I never was. But If they don't listen to you, if they choose not to hear your words, it's sad, but it's a loss. I mean, it, they're just not going to listen. They will come to. You, they will come in their own time. Maybe somebody else needs to hear. That's why it also says you know, if somebody doesn't want to hear, you come back with two or three witnesses. You know. Bring two other two or three other people with you. If they don't want to hear it after that, it is what it is. It's I don't know how else to say it. And and it sounds terrible. On its surface, God, it sounds terrible. Because you just don't want to do that to people. You don't want to you don't want to shut anybody out. You don't you don't want to say, you know, you know, I have to shut you out because you don't want to believe this. You know, but I almost have this sick, sad feeling that that's what it's going to come down to, is that a lot of people are just going to get left behind just because they don't want to, they don't want to listen. They don't want to believe. And that hurts. That hurts me. It, it's It's hurt me for a long time now, and I have... One of the things that one of the things that I have learned praying over this uh, that I, has come to me that come has come to my heart is that there's not much you can do. You know, you can you can try, but some people are just so ingrained. It's it's the matrix. These people are so ingrained that they will actually fight to stay in it. They will hurt you in order to stay in the lie. <laughs> and that's where it's coming down to. It's one of the things that I'm going to wind up having to start saying to certain family members is that when when they start asking everybody to turn in their family members who have not gotten the experimental death jabs when they start turning you in you just leave my name out of your mouth that's just all there is to it because I honestly don't know how many of my family members I really don't know how many of my family members won't just turn me straight turn me in. I got a feeling that's a bigger number than I ever want to consider. That bothers me. That bothers me a lot. The whole thing bothers me. Uh, I have gone off on the weirdest tangents possible. I got to come back to reality here. Uh, work is staring me in the face, literally, actually, staring me in the face. Because the computer is on. Hold on a second. <coughs> okay. 
the computer is on, fired up, I'm ready to go. So, <coughs> oh wow, that's what I get for talking too long without having a drink. Um, I hate being all depressing like that, but it is what it is, guys. You know. <sighs> Sadly, not everybody you know and love will follow you. Especially not where we're going after all this. And that's a hard, that's a hard fact, and it hurts. And I've planted enough seeds, and I've seen enough of a turn of certain people that I think they'll find it on their own. But there are some people that just, no matter how many seeds, no matter how much you just put it right in their face, they just won't listen. And those are the ones that, those are the ones that hurt more than anything else. Just can't get them to turn. All right. I will talk to everyone later. I am sure that I've probably upset somebody somewhere. Such is life, huh? Uh, I love you all. God bless. I will uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.